Hello there, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to add a uh, 3D object interaction in our Unity scene, which we already been using. So we're gonna create a cube and we're gonna add a script on top of the cube, which makes it interactable with your controller. Let's get into the video. <music> the scene open in front of me this is something which we did in the previous uh, video also we added two buttons we did a menu UI interaction go ahead and watch that video if you haven't seen how to make the UI interactable with the controller so now we don't have anything significant other than um, what we have in the scene so I'm just going to go ahead and add a 3d object so in the hierarchy window I'm going to right click and I'm choose I'm going to choose a 3d and I'm going to choose a cube and I'm going to move this cube a little bit up down to make it right there let's scale it down a bit so that it doesn't look huge when you grab onto it so now we've added uh, we've added one cube and what I want this cube to do is to interact with the controller. So when I point at it and probably when I pull the uh, grab button, uh, the grab button would be here on the side. So the moment I press this button, I want the cube to get attached to the controller and I can manipulate it. So probably throw it at the wall or stuff like that. So in order to do this is again, it's quite simple because XR interaction uh, toolkit basically has all the script predefined so you don't need to really you know break your head to in order to code or anything you can just you know without coding you could do a lot of things in here what I'm going to do is I am going to add a script called XR grab interactable which tells the unity that this object is going to to be interacting with the XR controller. Now when you add it, it basically adds a rigid body to it and it, you know, it does uh, add a script with a lot of options for you to play around. But we're not gonna fiddle with this. We're just going to see how this works first. So let's go ahead and hit play. So I am in the scene right now. Again, I see only one laser pointer. Why? Because the other one I haven't activated. So it is just lying on the floor. So now to my left, I see the cube. The moment I move the pointer to the cube, you see it changes color, which tells you that that is something which you can interact. For example, if I move the uh, pointer to the buttons, again, it changes color, you see? So you can just click on it and action happens, right? The same way. Now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the grab button. And then the moment I do it, it is going to come and attach to the controller, which I have in hand. So th let's go. There you go. So now I have the box attached to my controller. Now I can actually rotate it. It's a little big for me, but I think you can get an idea. I can actually throw it and there you go. Let me just do it once again. So, so let's go ahead, scale that cube down a bit more. It's quite gigantic. Let's make it 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Yeah, that's good enough. And probably what I want to do is, since we are here, add multiple of them. So okay, I'm in the scene and I can see all the cubes stacked. I'm going to pick up the one from the ground and I'm going to try throwing it on the stack and see if it interacts. Whoa, yes, I did. So you could see I can actually grab an all of the boxes it doesn't matter because i just copied the cube which had the script to interact and you know all of these boxes are like interactable this should give you an idea of how to create a very basic uh, xr app with ui interaction and a 3d object uh, basic interaction in uh, in future videos, we would be looking at how to add more custom actions to the object and, you know, uh, adding effects and so and so. So stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed, this is the right time to do it. See you in the next video.